Hello, my name is Stefan Martens. I'm responsible for the unit uh, Biotechnology of Natural Products. The main mission of the unit is to study and elucidate the biosynthesis of plant natural products to understand their function, but also their role during plant grow and performance. Plant natural products are defined by 10,000 or even more small molecules, small chemical molecules. Uh, they are not essential for the plant itself, uh, therefore they are also sometimes called secondary metabolites or speci specialized metabolites. They help the plant to survive, uh, to, attack, to, to defend against attacks by different pests or for propagation. Um, they are found in many plant-derived foods and by this they have enormous impact into plant health and well-being. So, we found them in fruits and vegetables, in beverage and cereals. Um, they are also used in thousands of years in traditional, traditional medicine or nowadays as bioactive compound in modern phytomedicine. So they have an important impact in plant itself but also in human. To achieve the overall goals of the group, we study the genes which are involved, the enzymes uh, produced from the genes to understand how the plant is able to synthesize this enormous amount of different chemical structures. We use uh, state-of-the-art omics technologies like metabolomics to understand the chemical profile, uh, transcriptomics to see the gene expression and genomics to have a gene discovery tool. All this knowledge or this new knowledge generated is implemented in modern uh, white and green biotechnology approaches. We create cell factories to produce certain bioactive important compounds which can be used for ingredients in food and nutrition industry, cosmetic industry, but also in uh, pharma industry. Uh, actually, we are working on apple, uh, on different medicinal aromatic plants like oregano, sage, melissa, and uh, basil, but we have also some projects on alpine plants like Cicciavita and Rhodiola. Finally, all this research is done in collaboration with international research institutes, universities and industries.